Okay, so if you live in the European Union, or even the UK, like myself, even though I live in Ireland, we still call it the UK, you're familiar with NES games that would have that branding right there. If you ever, if you ever want to read the small print, let me focus that there. Come on. UKV, which stands for United Kingdom, which in a nutshell pretty much makes this game PAL. Look up your region codes if you don't understand. If you live in America, however, if you look at the small print, you will notice that you see this, USA, which pretty much makes this NTSC game. Now, being that this is an NTSC and this is a PAL, and I have a PAL Nintendo, virtually speaking, this will work fine. This, however, will not. So, in a way, we have to be able to try to figure out how we can disable the NES and make it think that's playing this game. Nah, I'm just joking. There's a very simple mod, I'm just going into too much elaboration, I apologize. There's a very simple mod that you can do in your NES that allows you to play both European and NTSC games. I'm just going to say American and uh, European games to save the hassle. So what you need to do is remove the six bottom screws, as you do. I've made a video, just look it up if you, don't, if you can't keep up. Six bottom screws, you'll remove the top, like so. Now, I apologize, I'm just kind of rushing through this because I don't want to delay you too much and I don't want to go into too much details because it really isn't that hard at all. Once you have the main unit exposed, there'll be an aluminium frame. You want to remove the screws scattered all around it, very simple. You want to pop that off like so. Next thing you want to get the main 72 pin tray. Now it wiggles out, so just be careful, don't pull it thinking it pops off, because if you break this, trying to find a place one of these would be very hard. So it wiggles to and fro over the pin connector itself. It doesn't just pop off, if you would pop it off, then you'd break the, the frame. Okay, so this is the part where I'm actually going to start screwing because this can get tricky a little bit. Like, you want to get access to the main motherboard. Now we have main the motherboard exposed, but all the units are reversed. So what you see is just the solder points. You know, we want to get access. So you have to flip it around, but in order to do that, there's two more screws. Now there'll be a screw hidden right there beside the ORF modulator and the RCA input, as well as right there where the RCA input goes. So right there and right there. I'm going to remove them right now. They're just two standard Phillips screws. Nintendo didn't bring out their annoying security screws till maybe the Super Nintendo. We all know how I feel about them. Having to be make burn pens to open up the damn things. Okay. I, I recommend using a magnetized screwdriver so the screws can pop off easier. Alright. Another one here. Okie dokie. Now, just before you start jumping off and thinking that you can pull it off very easily, just be careful that it's still attached to another aluminium frame plate. And also the player one, the player two, and the main reset button connectors are still attached. So, very carefully but very firmly pull them off. I do not advise to pull from the ribbons, because if you break the main unit then you're shared luck really. Pull from very within tight, like so. Wiggle them to and fro and they should pop off. The reset button is very hard, but very sturdy as well too. Pop that off. There'll be another frame, aluminium frame. Take that off as well too. Now we have the main motherboard in our hands. And we're going to reverse it around. Now this is going to get a bit close up, so just pay attention. Alright, I'm going to bring it up very close here. Can you see that? Alright, let's make sure I can get a nice light on that there already okay <clears throat> so this is the main unit here itself now Nintendo officially announced that when they brought out the Nintendo there'd be different region codes as well too you know like there'd be the European there'd be the Japanese and the American North American South American whatever this is a European model so there is what's called a lockout chip which is right here where it says 1988 Nintendo and you want to count in from the bottom row make sure you're holding it where the RF modulator will be in your right hand and the pin connector will be at the bottom if you have it upside down that's just bad make sure it's like this so take a mental note in your head and make sure you're holding it like this. And we're going to focus on this chip right here. Everything else doesn't matter. Just this chip right here. OK. 
Okay, so bring it up to very close. And you can see that I've already taken the liberty of doing it, but I will show you exactly what it is that you do. You count in, say it with me, one, two, three, four. Four pins from the left to right. Not from right to left, left to right. On the chip that says 1986, sorry, Nintendo. Like that. Now what you would usually do would be first instincts, oh just break the chip, no, just be very careful because if you fracture or damage or dent any of these chips beside, I don't know exactly what would happen but it can't be good. You want to disable the fourth little pin, very very small little pin from the left. So get yourself a needle nose pliers or any type of pliers that you have lying around, if you have a steady hand, whatever, and just pretty much rip it off. Make sure it's not just dangling there. Because you don't want anything to short circuit or you don't want anything to go haywire. Make sure you pull it off completely. In terms of excess and maybe a bit of residue or burr, eh, nothing too much big will happen. You know, like just be very careful. Make sure you get the whole unit off itself. So that's pretty much it. Once you have that chip disabled, you can then play, if you have any, American games on a European Nintendo. And vice versa, if anyone's living in um, America and you want to play some European games, there is some European games that were not released in America, vice versa. This mod is the exact same. Now I know there's more probably more elaborate videos on YouTube, but this is pretty much a rough sketch as to what you do. Very simple, very easy. You don't need to be a rocket scientist or an electrician to figure it out. Just to recap, hold it like this where the modulator is on your right side and you want to disable the fourth chip from left. One, two, three, four. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.